what is up y'all it's me tasha c and in this particular video i'm back again a whole week later but a series season premiere um mid-season premiere still season two of love after lockup but it's no longer the spinoff which is the middle of the season work with me y'all here because you know it's confusing as heck um, it's just like, this is supposed to be season 2, uh, episode 24, even though technically this should be season 3 or season 4, you know, that, that's what the, the cave folks saying, like, to set a season 4, but anyway, y'all, shout out to my YouTube fam, if you're not part of your fan, like you see, like you hear, you go ahead, click the subscribe button, don't forget to also like, you know, like, likes help the video get noticed and, and stuff, you know, YouTube, you know, recommendations and stuff, get it up there. Um, shout out to, I... I have lost the words. I know this has nothing to do with this particular franchise, but even though it's mid-season. Just to talk real quick, if y'all follow the other thing, one of the updates is about Tracy getting arrested, um, and Clint was arrested too, but supposedly he was only for weed, and he got out. Uh, long story short, Brittany, because um, Tito failed a drug test, um, well, was something, we already kind of knew something might have been going wrong, or I'm going to be not to mention it. If y'all check my reviews, I did for the mid-season slash spinoff. Oh, Lord, too confusing, y'all. But anyway, yeah, that's the update. And so she got temporary full custody at the moment. Okay. So they just did this, like, one or two days ago. So, okay. But anyway, I hope all is well. But yeah, y'all, um, we're starting off. One of the couples is actually from the first season. They were supposed to come back to life after lockup slash do the middle wherever the hell, hell you know like i said it's just too confusing but they didn't come back until now i want to get started with them because it really wasn't that long and you know of course we have the introduction to stuff you know y'all is you know y'all the first time you know watching love at the lockup for the first time whatever um they have introduction usually with the person and they quote quote love their life or whatever and how they met the person and sometimes they even talk to the people who are incarcerated at the moment as well, you know, do videos and stuff like that, or nine times a ten, and they talk about, well, this is how I met this person, blah, blah, blah. So anyways, Tony and Angela, like I said, came in the first season. Tony is 13, younger, years younger than um, uh, Angela, and as he said, so where he's a cougar hunter and stuff, and they go into details, he says in other words, you know, he was intrigued and fell in love with Angela's intelligence. And three months, whatever, then he wrote a letter of what, Valentine's Day to marry her and the page uh, thing. Now, Angela, I know she's a mom. I know she has one grown kid, and they show like one episode, something like that. I don't know how many kids she has, because she really doesn't mention them. But, you know, Angela's looking forward to come, go and see him. She was originally, Ashley, in season two, at the beginning of here, she was looking at being, you know, where they had a little wedding, had a little reception, and we never seen her no more, okay? Till now. So, she's back in. Now, he's finally supposed to get out. He's supposed to go to halfway house, right? Her friend, Brenda. Brenda was in the first season as well, you know, getting her sexy shots on to send, you know, when she showed a little leg and kneecap to Tony, whatever, right? Now, she sent about, what, 6000 to 8000 to him, and, um... In the past year and a half, now she could question whether he really, you know, was on some BS or not. But like I said, she waited for him. He never came out, and I don't really even went to detail about why he didn't come out when he was supposed to come out in the first place. Okay, but anyways, that's not my business. So let's continue. So, y'all, Brenda also used to. But well, she said this before. She actually used to do some time, you know, before, and she used to have, you know, pay pen pals like. PayPal pen pals, okay? All right, so um, so she knows a little bit about the game as far as, like, you know, you have to be careful on some of it, but, you know, he he's supposed to come out, they first go, take okay, my mistake, and she is, like, because she's never had anything physical contact towards when she's visiting him, and they smooch for she gets, when she gets there and when she leaves. So a friend called out something, they blurred out by followers, it was a mistake or a BJ, something like that, whatever. I don't know. That's their business, but... Anyways, but Angela's is just, like, looking for, yeah, you know, to be Cooper Hunter. And he said some comment about joking about Rock Cradle Rock and stuff like that. They're still doing, like, the, I guess, the video uh, interview or his message. And I'm sitting here like, 
Uh, that's not something to joke about. You know, Kratos got babies. In it. Okay, I don't care, but it's just like he says, he, uh, you know, I just can't. But he even said, well, she support me financially first, but then eventually I realized I loved her. And I, well, I'm like, okay, next scene. That, that switch, like I said, they just gave a little mini introduction so far. But anyway, <laughs> we ain't got all the couples. But I want to go, I don't know, three is the magic number this episode because at least three of the women who are dating, you know, who are the, the current, their men's in their life, they're dating, they happen to all have three children. At least they were shown. I don't know if they got more or whatever, but they at least were shown here. Now, we first going to talk about Miss Cheryl and Josh, right? Yeah, Cheryl. Yeah, okay. Now, Cheryl, uh, Sh Sherry and Cheryl, um, she's a, what's it, an a intervention um, assistant, right? Her sister also is a CO in correctional. So she already knows how the game goes with most of the people inmates, how they need to pay for the thing. Now, she was doing some report, I think, for school, some doing some internship for some one of her classes. And she also has an infatuation. She likes serial killers, right? So um, she looked up some website and was looking for some guys like, you know, you know, male, talk to a person or something like that, whatever it is. And she called him the third, fifth row. And she was like, oh, that's the one. And uh, I'm just like, what the hell? Now, she's talking about serial kids. I'm thinking, like, you could always be a homicide, work in the field of homicide or something like that or something like that. Be one of them psychologists and stuff, you know, work. work for, I'm just like, where it's going? And this is before I found out. Then the next scene, she's going to get a birthday cake. And the sister's like, what the hell? No, she, I thought she was getting a birthday cake because he's supposed to be coming out soon. She's in love with this dude. She's going to marry him when he get out. He's going to change, whatever. I mean, she said all he did was rob people. He's, you know, she look at him as like a modern day Robin Hood, okay? He give, you know, like he did nothing wrong. Yeah, he robs from the community. I mean, probably scares some folks, and they probably have to go to therapy for the rest of their life. But I mean, th there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, that he is for drug dealers, so that's what telling the sister way to go get some cake because it's cause of my cake, right? Like she's trying to explain that he would never rob the people he loves. You you don't know people, and I know the excuses. Sometimes you don't know the people that is next to you, but um, you know, I I, I can't. <laughs> I should have got myself some Moscato. Anyway, so, um, like I said, the sister trying to put up against stuff like that. And this time, I see a little bit more of the dads, at least two, yeah, wait a minute. Yeah, at least two out of the women's life who have these kids and stuff like that. I think the mom was there too, us for Cheryl. We'll talk about a little later in the episode. But to make a long story short, she went away getting the cake, and that's when we find out, oh, for, um, and the lady's like, oh, who's it for? A three year old. And I'm like, Rio? Hmm? And then she showed, I have three kids. My oldest is 12, and the young middle one is seven, and the third one is three. And I'm just like, oh, my gosh. And she's like, I can't wait for him to be my stepdad. I'm like, what? This is some horror story shit here. It, did you watch Stepdad? I know it's supposed to be a horror flick. I haven't seen that movie, but that is not, that is, that is a horror flick, but that can happen in real life, okay? Stuff like that happened. I, I'm, I'm just saying. I mean, I'm not trying to see you say that we do, do something like that, but why would you put your kids in a category like that? Okay, even though she claimed like she likes security, but you don't like security. It's like these people be wanting sometimes this excitement, this control. There's just so many other stuff. This fantasy, this fairy tale. Write a book. Google how about write a book, get somebody to publish you, pay somebody to write a book. Pay somebody to make a movie for you. Something. Just. I, I can't. I just can't. I'm going to this. I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm laughing because I'm sad. Oh, gosh. Okay, so we get a later scene, and y'all, I thought, I mean, I cut the commercial because I had the DVR right, and I was fast forward the thing, and here we see a full clown, okay? His name is Tony something like that, and he's even talking to, you know, talking to producer professional on the side with it, right? And he's a friend, and he supposed to be clown for Brandon's, you know, little birthday party, right? Even... He, she's talking a bit about this guy, and she was like, basically, like, oh, are you sure you should be doing this type of thing? And even he like, okay, you know, basically say like, okay, this is not a good idea. Okay, and all this stuff. And he's still in his gear, so I don't know if we ever see him without the makeup or nothing like that, you know, but he a professional clown, but you know, that's his profession. He ain't a clown, but he can see a possible clown, if you know what I mean, from far away, okay? Well, he might see it, okay? You know, you can be a clown without the damn makeup on, okay? But I'm just saying is, is that it's just cool foolery. 
you know, and I thought about it, I mean, is he just her friend, is somebody they dated before, do you like her for, I don't know the beginning of that, okay, and like I said, it's just speculation, but anyway, so she about to go pick up Josh soon, and we see her parents, I think, I know her dad was talking, she looked a lot like a dad. I think it's both her dad and my, or mom, whatever. She was talking about, well, my dad, I'm going to let you know I'm going to be back and we about to be serious, blah, 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 blah. And the dad looked like this. What? What are you talking about? This guy, you trying to be serious and he ain't letting him know, like, I don't, you know, what is you doing? And, but you know, she liked this, a typical, oh, I don't care, you, I wish you'd just be supportive for me. Blah, 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 blah. Why, Dad? And, you know, he like, I ain't about to walk you down the aisle, nothing like that. I don't know. But he basically like, like most people would say, uh, you know, general, like, uh, your safety, your sanity, you know, you're something along the line sometimes. And unfortunately, people will be cold and stuff like that. It, you know, your stupidity, your stupidity levels on high. Okay, it, you know, depends on person. But I'm just saying this, it's like, what the hell? But she's all, like I said, she bragged on her sister, like, well, I make a thousand some dollars per week, so that's enough to take care of me, my kids, and Josh. So you adopted him? What the? <sighs> okay. You know what? That's it. Yeah, we that's the show. She on the way to get her dream man, Josh, whatever. Next. So anyway, we got, uh, I'm not going over here. Let's go to Vincent and Amber. And it's kind of really, but Vince is an interesting person as well. Like I said, people are doing this all for the damn excitement, okay? Now, actually, Vincent works for the government, some secret job in the military. I mean, he's one of those people in fitness, y'all. I like to call this, I don't know what the term is, but some of my behind would even do, even if I was capable of doing it. Um, You know, I like to call it grasshopper push-ups, when you're able to push up and fly this stuff off you know, off the ground and do the jump that pip this. I call the grasshopper pusher. I know that's not wrong, but he's one of those type of fitness people. But I, I don't know if he's the only child with his mom. He's, he lets us know he's, you know, Mexican and Italian. And he never gets to, you know, he tells the same thing. He met his love of his life on the way, uh, on one of them prisoner sites paper. Actually, he did, he checked, he sent it to 10 uh, uh, M women inmates and um ladies and he liked the inverse she had a positive energy and you know then a serious to been for 22 months which is almost we all know it's almost two old years and for what i made mean, because of his professional all this stuff like that he has only talked to her you know like phone calls and photos and letters he's not met her face to face so he's going by what she said you know by her you know this and up okay and so he thought she was beautiful on hair. He just seemed like, because she, I think she got four years for drug trafficking. And we found out later, because he's talked to his mom about he's going to go meet this girl serious, because she's supposed to get, you know, stay, because she go to Georgia, I think, ATL somewhere, with a former um, bunkie, um, with this girl they call Puppet. And I think her other name is also K. Michelle. Uh, no, also no ass Michelle. I didn't mean to say K. Michelle. Mm -mm, she got nothing to do with this. Um, So... The mom was asking, like, if he was like, yeah, they cool. You know, they're so cool that they call each other, they used to call each other their wife, right? And I'm sitting here like, I know some some people like to play that out of the wife. You know, stuff. Okay, um, he, he, here's, he, here's me. I know I'm not going to be ranting by myself. But when I have, as my best friend, if I have best friends to a point that we become, like, you know, uh, the closest my best friends, we call each other. And we at this point that my best, uh, my, I has been my sister. And my sister's been my life for 17 years. And we call it sisters, so we're family. And the other best friends I had, even when I was my high school kid days, um, the highest we got were best friends. Or maybe I see like I look at them as family members, but not saying, "Oh, that's my wife." And this big kid, this my kid. Hell no! That this one was kind of okay. Maybe I'm judging, but I mean, um, the way even the response when she got out was kind of like I understand she adjusted back to reality, but it's kind of like, mm, mm. okay, I'll leave it. Y'all, y'all can fill the blank what you think I'm thinking of at the moment, but that, that's just what I see right now, I may be wrong, okay, not how Sam might be wrong about that, but I'm just saying this, it's just that, okay, that's their business, so, but she wants to go with Vincent to see girl, she, she, she's concerned, because this is her child, but she's like, at the same time, he's a 30-year-old man, and, you know, she can't make a change, you know, like, like, uh, make, but she's concerned, she does want me, but Vincent's, like, I uh, know, mom, I got to do it myself. So we see, and when we find out the mom was talking something about, does she have a touch with her family, something like that question he asked, he's like, well, her mom is in cars, uh, big pause, whatever. 
uh, her mom is incarcerated as well. Not only is she incarcerated, they got incarcerated together doing the same stuff. Oh, okay. Well, truth is strange to fiction, y'all. Ain't it always? So, anyway, so the mom is looking like, oh, okay. Let me, oh. <laughs> I think she was cooking something. But, <laughs> but, so, he goes to see her, y'all. And it was one of the few ones, you know how they would usually they come out, whether it's fake or nine times a ten, they all, when they see they significant love, significant in one one nine times ten they run to them and everything Woo, you know kissing all each other stuff whatever and everything oh my gosh they are about to slam each other down right in front of the pre house whatever about to jump on the, you know like get overexcited very into physical oh i can touch your face uh, the, yeah, right this is how it was even though they hugged i know it's kind of like maybe she's kind of a little standoffish or something that's what i'm saying is i, I don't want to say it because i that i that, that that's prejudging that's not that does not right that's judging folks but it's just if, if, like I said, I'm just, I'm just saying her and puppy. No, okay, never mind. They might be just really good friends. That I'll look at the stand. But anyways, she was just like this. And then when it was, they was like, oh my gosh, first, and I was realizing like they didn't even kiss yet. And then all of a sudden, when he went to her, he had kissed her on, on the lips because she already felt awkward. But she kind of looked at like him, like just give me my ride to, to my place. I'm supposed to go. That that's it. But she even said as soon as he kissed her, he, she was like. That that was kind of awkward. I mean, he's still smiling and stuff, but I'm like, this this. Well, she said she would like to love him, like him a little bit or something. Don't she? Don't she? Something like that. I'm just saying, why does it seem like um, it, you could just see the kids, the chemistry is. There. I mean, at least like I said, that, that's the impression so far. Maybe she'll grow out of it. I, um, so, anyways. He's on the way taking an Airbnb, and like I said, he's happy, blah, 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 you know, like I said, he was happy getting her, blah, 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 but like I said, it's not like you're sitting there kissing again, kissing again, it just looks like you're picking up your friend uh, from the airport, even though nowhere, it's nowhere near the airport, that, that's how they're giving me, okay, okay, next, I don't think there's too much in anything else, now, we got also Lacey and John, and fill in the blank, okay, this is another orangutan, uh, what I say, what I say, Romulus, triangle square um oxagon um you know, you know stuff like that so here's what happened now we got Lacey again she's the same thing she's got three lovely children now she says she has a thing for guys who are incarcerated she, she loves the bad boys okay um she got with a guy he ended up getting arrested or was at risk case something like that then because I, I lost count then the guy that she she was one time married already and she got three, that's where she got some three beautiful kids from, and, um, then he went to jail, was all, like I said, it's, it's like, you know, how, uh, double dutch just somebody going in, out double dutch just somebody else, okay, then she, now she's talking to John, who happens to be a guy she used to go with during high school, and now she wants to give him a second chance, and he, I forgot what was the reasoning for why he's doing it, he said something about he got caught with a farmer, he got out or something like that, and then they just end up connecting again or something like that, blah, 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 you know, same story. So she's on her way, and then she talked to her dad, you know, was supposed to watch kids when she's going to attend, and she's also a cam girl, she said that's how she makes a nice comfortable room for her and her baby's cam girl, but she says like modeling, you know, that type of thing, on her own terms, so that's what she does. And, you know, she wanted to kind of to see a little bit on the spoiled side because even when the dad was trying to explain her, like, you talking about marriage, man, we're supposed to go down out of here because she's like, why you know what? Why can't you accept what I want to do? Because he's like, you need to grow up. What? What do you mean you want to grow up? This is pissing me off. I'm, I'm just like, okay, that's what I'm saying. He let it away again too much because even though she's a grown ass woman, has kids, you know, all this other stuff, you know, real life, that's what I'm saying is it's like, what is going on here? In the real life, I, I'm just saying this for her to be comfortable. Even though, I, I don't know, I, I'm just saying, like, if she wasn't, like, kind of spoiled, I could be over-exaggerated, but she just seemed like, you know, she kind of gets away with certain things, okay? And, but the dad's trying to play, but she's still kind of getting, like, a, you know, the grown woman, the tantrum, and I don't get my damn way, whatever, but she, you know, she's gonna do what she wanna do, and he's concerned, of course, about his grandkids, you know, they same talk like Cheryl's dad was, and, you know, a little bit of mom was. So, anyway, I think... Uh, she goes and she about to get a tan right. The Lacey's like, well, he doesn't know. Josh doesn't know what I'm doing, blah, blah, blah. And I have a secret. 
the secret is now when she don't wake getting tan, she about to get you know the, the super deluxe special when she gets you know a glow, you know some sprinkles and stuff afterwards when she get a tan. I'm just playing y'all, but <laughs> she gets a call. She go outside with it, right, y'all? She like this. Hi, hi, baby. She not only talking to somebody else. She's talking to another inmate named Shane. Shane don't know about John. John don't know about Shane. And, you know, they, she all flirting with him on the phone, blah, blah, blah. I don't know who supposed to get out first, so it's eat me, my mo. So we got, like I said, a triangle uh, slash Romulus um, with this octagon as well. But this time, it's a woman going to inmates instead of the inmate who got a wife and then got a whole, um, you know, fiance-ish, used to have fiance and possibly a third one to the mix, just since obviously they're going to leave us with a spinoff from last week's episode, okay, because, you know, I don't know if there's really was a season finale, <laughs> so, but anyways, y'all, that's her secret, so I don't, I for, even forgot, so I don't know if she really want to be with Shane, a Shane or not, or what, sorry, y'all, if y'all watching this and computer jump, sometimes it lags, so, work with me, yeah, so we got that going, y'all, that's going to be pretty interesting, and it seemed like she gonna end up being caught with the other one, other confront. Um, hmm. So that's pretty interesting. So last but not least, everybody, I think I went through everybody. Um, like I said, it was interesting. Now Andrea and Lamandre. Now this is pretty interesting because I'm like, didn't we had Andrea last season and Lamar? Now we who you know who had three kids. This lady has a I think a I sunglasses line business doing pretty well. Whatever, right? She has three kids as well. She comes from a family where her mama, I think, has six, I don't know if it's, all, you know, six girls, and they're all close-knit, but she has a secret. She goes with this guy named Lamar Dre, and Lamar Dre, you know, because they all from Florida, whatever, right? Now, Lamar Dre, he said he used to make 300000 like, per day in the money and blah, 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 and, you know, she was attracted to him, but I'm like, well, how she, in this case... She didn't go to no site. It was like one of the she knew his cousin, and she told, you know, Lamar J, you know, asked about, you know, Miss Andrea, and that's how they started talking, and she visited him a couple times. She's ready to get married to him. You know, he's good because she loves him. She know that he going to change, and woo, 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 and all this stuff, whatever, right? And I'm just like, what? What the heck? Ah. Uh. I'm like, what the heck is going on here? So anyways, I sat there, and I was like, like I said, the names is too simple. So it's going to be easy to remember. Like I said, this lady has three kids, but she ain't no damn woman, nothing like that, okay? So um, she tells she's about to go out. Her mom, they mom about to watch the babies, and she goes out to meet with her sisters to tell them whatever, right? Now, they're on the roof talking about the dream drinking, and she tells them whatever the time it was, or the producer said, okay, you're going to tell, you're going to tell now. Well, y'all, I've been dating, and uh, I wanted to tell y'all, you know, who was this, you know, it's uh, uh, Lamondre B, whatever his last name, and they all look like this. Like, one would talk on those one of the sisters, and the one would give this look like, is she serious? And the other one would talk, and the other one would give that look like, is she serious? And the other one would talk, I know a couple of the sisters, like, one would talk, and one would give a look like, is she serious look, and then the other one would talk. Y'all watch that, when y'all watch this episode, y'all will understand exactly what I'm saying, like, one would, like, say, you know, look and express what the other sister's saying, you know what I mean, like, I, I may not speak it, but I'm showing it in face expression while the other one talks, so they're like, what the hell, what, what is wrong with your mama, and of course, she's getting offended and stuff like that, whatever, she, um, Shay, like, uh-uh, girl, what, well, blah, 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 so, you know, they, she just like, uh-uh, I can't do, I think Shay was someone who kind of walked, I had to walk away for a second, I forgot all the names, I didn't write the names of the sisters down, I know one of them, I think, is also her man a manager. I don't know if it was her manager or something like that. Because, like I said, um, Lamar uh, Marche also said this, which was interesting. Now, in the confessionals, he said he used to do, you know, like, be working with them drugs. So, you know, like, it'll be like, go through his hands. That's what I was saying. Then, the interesting, he said this. Like, I love that girl. She got expensive taste. And he was like, I spent about 18000 on her already oh by the way i forgot to mention miss cheryl spent thirty thousand on this mug look that is you know this josh dude let that sink in she claimed that's an investment and that's very important that's more important than how she told her sister i forgot to... 
Now, I don't know. Lacey didn't mention anything where she was sending money to like that. That's the only one I didn't know. Just like Vincent didn't, I don't recall, it standing out if they were sending money or not. You just kind of heard like they just communicating. But, like, I'm sending it out. Okay. But anyway, I, this is my first, my, this is the first time I went around. I ain't gonna lie that I paid attention to notice he said something like that. Like, I'm sending her money and whatever, blah, blah, blah. So, like, she says she thinks he's changed. And this is, you know, going back to the, this meeting. And he says, it's like, what the hell is going on with you? Blah, blah, blah. You need to be careful. You run out dangerous this, blah, 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 and all this other stuff. And she's like, but I love him. I know what I'm doing. And being going to do right, blah, blah, blah. But I really think he changed and all this other stuff. And then, turn out, when they about to go downstairs, whatever, she, you know, whatever, here come mama. And mama must have called, what did she call one of the sisters, one of the aunties to watch kids? Because I was like, wait a minute, what, is the babies in the car? Who, who, what, what's going on here? I know she had a son, and probably was like, I don't know how old he was. I don't know, he was 11, 12, you know, these kids are grown with all this stuff we got in the damn food. So 10-year-olds used to be the hype of the 12 or 13-year-old 13 13 kids, boy or girls, you know, just, you know how it is now. So she came here to confront her, like, what the heck is she doing? You know what I'm doing? And it turns out, I forgot which sister. I don't know if it was Katrina. I, like I said, I forgot the name. So one of the other sisters called mom to tell about this. She pulled aside, like, you know, let her know again. Like, what is you doing? This ain't right, blah, 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 blah. You know, one of them type of talks. Like, you, what about this? And she was like, but if I would have told you, mom, first of all, you would have said, yeah, that's true. But, you know, basically, like, you know, make it, let it be known. What are you doing? This is a big mistake. What the hell are you doing? This is a big mistake. What am I crazy? Uh, did somebody call it stupid? I don't know. Uh, you know, it's always like one, two, or all of the above, nine times a ten, or an added bonus. Are you serious? Okay. A, B, C, and D choices. Okay. Maybe sometimes the E. So she got upset, got her car, and left. You know what I mean? Because she feels offended. People should be there for her. She sees a future with this guy. I think she's been dating, dating, and talking to him for about two years as well, okay, and her sisters, them, you know, been close knit, they weren't close enough to know about what was going on with him, so yeah, she got mad, so I think we got some other couples that'll be coming in next one, but yeah, those are the only people that I had, I think, Alex and Jordy, whatever this person's name is, and I think, yeah, Lizzie and Danielle, those are the new couples, I guess, they're going to be in next episode as well, so yeah, y'all, this is going to be another interesting uh, season and see how this goes. Thank you, y'all, for watching, and I'll see y'all next videos. I got a couple videos I procrastinate on. I got to do catch up with, so that way I can get on these shows and stuff like that. But hugs and loves, y'all. Have a pleasant weekend. <laughs> oh, this is a hot ass mess, but you can't stop it. You can't stop watching. It, this is definitely a guilty pleasure. <laughs> Oh, okay, I've lost the words. I'm, 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 you know what? I'm just going to get off here now. All right, y'all, have a good night. <laughs>